Hey guys, this is the 4th Gen Gamer here, and I am bringing you guys a pretty complicated, but hopefully at the same time comprehensive tutorial on how to get the new Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire hacks, Rising Ruby and Sinking Sapphire, made by Dreano. So first and foremost, here's what you will need. An old or new 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS, doesn't matter as long as it's a 3DS, something like that, it will work. You'll need an SD card with at least 3 gigabytes of free space, so a 4 gigabyte card should work. You'll need a copy of Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, respectively, depending on which game that you would like. You'll need a copy of Cubic Ninja, or any other method of getting the homebrew channel. I will be using Cubic Ninja in this tutorial, but if you have another method of getting the homebrew channel, that is, the homebrew launcher working, then that method will also work and you will not need Cubic Ninja. And last but not least, you'll need a computer, and it needs to be able to read an SD card. So first and foremost, we are going to need to get the homebrew launcher up and running. I'll be using Cubic Ninja and Ninja Hacks for this. If you have any other method of getting the homebrew launcher up and running, well, good luck, have fun with it, but I'm going to be showing you how to get Ninja Hacks with this method. Any other method that gets you to homebrew launcher will work just fine. And um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So. Go to Smilium's website, I will link it down below, smilium.github.io, and you will download the starter.zip file. The download link is the first one that you should see in the description, and from here you will see that you will get a zip file downloaded to your computer. From here, extract the zip, and anything that's inside of that zip, drag it onto the root of your SD card. Not inside any other folders, the root just means at the base of the card, so you just open it up, you drag everything in there. From here, you need to find out what firmware you have running on your 3DS. Make sure it's exactly what you have. Write it down so you don't forget it, because you'll need it in a second here. You're going to need to get a QR code based off of this firmware that you have on your 3DS. So go to smilium.github.io slash ninjax2, the link for that is also in the description. Type in exactly what you have on your 3DS. Click exactly the version, make sure it's exactly matching what you have or else it will not work. If you have any old system, a 3DS, 3DS XL, 2DS, whatever it may be, it is an old firmware. If you have the new 3DS, new 3DS XL, then you must click the new option. Like I said, it will not work if you do not do this. So then a QR code will pop up, and you'll need to scan it on your Cubic Ninja game in just a moment. And then after that, you're pretty much good to go. So let's load up Cubic Ninja, and then you're going to go to Create, and then QR Code. Now that QR code that you just generated a moment ago, you will need to scan this on the Cubic Ninja game, and then the homebrew launcher should lo load up momentarily. Now after this, you will never need to go through and get the QR code ever again. However, every time you load up homebrew and you need to go through this, you have to load up Cubic Ninja, go to create, and then go to QR code. So our next step is going to be to add brain dump to your homebrew launcher. This one's going to be a little bit easier. So first things first, download braindump.7z. The link for that is down below. Once you get it, you will need WinRAR. WinRAR is a program that runs on your computer, and as long as you could open up the 7z file, you will be able to run it kind of just like a zip. Everything that's inside that .7z, you're going to take that and drag it into the 3DS folder of the SD card. That's where all your homebrew stuff is going to be located. So take everything once again from the braindump.7z, everything inside of it, and put it inside the 3DS folder. Now that we have Brain Dump, this will allow us to dump a ROM. So that pretty much means that we could get a copy of a game from this program, so we could mess with it and, you know, get Rising Ruby and Sunking Sapphire working. So please note that this next step will take a long time, probably at least an hour. So make sure you get a charger and make sure you're good with your 3DS being taken up for that amount of time. So first things first, get back into the homebrew launcher. Like I said, if you're using Ninja Hacks, all you have to do is load up Cubic Ninja, Go to create, then QR code, and after you scan that QR code that one time, you never have to do that ever again. You just have to go to QR code and it will automatically bring you to the homebrew launcher. If it does not do this, then you're doing something wrong and you need to go back. So now that you have that, you can take Cubic Ninja out after it has loaded up homebrew launcher and put in the game that you would like to dump. In this case, Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. All you have to do is just run brain dump now and that will automatically take care of it for you. You don't have to do anything else from this point. You'll just let it run, and once it looks like it's done, you should have a copy of Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire dumped onto your SD card. 
So now we're going to need to retrieve the game's files. So put your SD card back into your computer, and then find a folder that just has a lot of numbers. It should be around 16. This is going to be the ID of the game that you're going to be getting all the files for. So in that folder there are going to be two files. You're going to want to move both of them to your desktop. But do not delete this folder, because you're going to need this later. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. Now, I'm going to include another link, yeah, I know a lot of links, down in the description. It's going to be extractrepack.zip. So go ahead and download that from Mediafire and extract that folder to your desktop. Now you're going to want to take those two files that we just had a moment ago and put them into the extract repack folder that you got from that zip. First things first, you're going to want to run the extract.bat and that'll take care of the extracting for you so you'll have your game's files. Alright guys, here comes the fun part. We are going to be patching our games. So first and foremost, you're going to want to download the files from Dreano that he made for us to enjoy his games. So that is a Google Drive link. I'll include that in the description down below. Go into the game folder. There's also a document folder if you want to check out the changes that he made to the game. From there, there is a zip you can download. rrssgarks.zip is what it is called. Download that to your computer and then from there you're also going to download PK3DS, that is the tool that we are going to be using to make all this happen. So that is a Project Pokemon link, I will also leave that in the description, and you guys can go ahead and download the latest version of that. Once you have those all downloaded, take both of those zips and extract them to a desktop or whatever easy to access place so you could just get them ready to go and work with them. So now in the Gark Files folder, that's the one that we got from the zip we got from Dreano, you could take that, open it up, and there should be a uh, folder that is just straight up called A. Take that and drag that into the ROMFSDIR folder, that is inside the Extract Repack folder. So now it gets a little bit more complicated. You're going to have to go back to the Extract Repack folder and then go to EXEFSDIR. Go to that folder and then delete code.bin. Go back to that Gark Files folder that we got from Dreano and you'll see a folder for Omega Ruby, EXCFS, and then an Alpha Sapphire one. Now depending on whatever you're working on, you know, that's just what you have to do. So if you're working on Omega Ruby, then you'll take the files from the OR one, and if you're working on Alpha Sapphire, then you'll uh, drag the ones from the AS one. So inside each of those, there will be two files. You're going to drag those two files for each respective game, whichever one you're working on, and put them inside that folder, EXCFSDIR. So now we're going to be using that PK3DS tool that we just got. So open that up, and then go to File, Open, and then go to the Extract or Pack folder. Once you click on the Extract or Pack folder, just click Open, and it'll take care of everything else for you. If anything prompts you any dialogue, if it asks you which game that you're working on, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Just select Yes, where appropriate. And then from there, once it all loads up, you can go to Tools, Rebuild, and then ROMFS. You're going to save it as anything you want, any name, .bin, anything that's different than romfs.bin, because that's the original. And keep in mind, this will take a few minutes. Well, now that you have all that done, congratulations, you have patched the game. So, with that being said, all we need to do is just rebuild the game so your 3DS could, you know, run it and, you know, you could play and stuff. So, yeah. With that, here's what we have to do. First of all, download Python 2.7. It's like a programming language thing, whatever. You need it for this next step though. So download the file, it's a link, I have it down below. It's python.org slash a bunch of stuff. So just download that, and once you get that, you can just click on the program and install that. That's really important, you will need that in a moment. So now go to your SD card and go to the folder where you originally got the ROM fs.bin and exe fs.bin. That should be the long 16 digit garbled mess that we had, all right? So it should be 16 digits. And what you're gonna wanna do is copy the last eight digits of that folder name. You're going to need that in a moment, so definitely, if you want, open up a Word document, open up a Notepad document, whatever you have to do, write down a piece of paper, you know, whatever you got to do, like I said, just get those last eight digits and copy them, all right? So right-click, copy, do what you got to do, and then from there, you're going to go to the Extract or Pack folder again and run the rebuild.bat. It should be pretty self-explanatory. It'll ask you for some certain things, like the uh, bin file that you have. That's on Retract, uh, Extract or Pack. And also the title ID, that's that eight digit uh, bit that we just got. So just paste those eight digits when it asks for the title ID, and then you should be pretty much good to go from there. So now that you have that done, you're going to go to your SD card and go to the folder called Hans. A separate window, go to Extract or Pack, and then the folder EXEFSDIR. Now you're going to move the .code.bin to the Hans folder, 
and rename it the title ID, that's that eight digit code that we were talking about before, dot code. So it's eight digits dot code. Now go back to extractor pack again and move the dot romfs file to the Hans folder. Put the SD card back in your 3DS and uh, hey, only one more step remains. So now we're just going to need to load up the homebrew launcher one last time and we will be all good to go. It should be pretty standard by now if you're using Cubic Ninja, just load up the game, go and create, go to QR code and it should load up everything fine. From here you're going to load up Hans. For the first time it'll just load up so you have to enter in a bunch of settings. After this you will not have to enter these in ever again. If you ever want to modify these you can always hold down the L button while it's loading up, but you shouldn't really have to do this. So under these settings the only ones that really should matter are region which you want to set to pretty much neutral, nothing. You could go to the left. Also code, you could set to yes. ROMFS, you could set to yes. And save configuration, you could set to yes. The last one, save configuration, will allow it so you don't have to go through this ever again. To click OK, and then you should be pretty much good to go. That's pretty much it. You just did it. You just got a Dreyano hack of Omega Ruby and or Alpha Sapphire. Guys, I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Gotta give a big, 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 big thank you to, of course, Dreano, this whole community that got this freaking working. And a big thanks to my little brother. Um, his name on, uh, you know, Twitter, it's the Koopa King, and I'm all link him at the, in the description as well. He helped me uh, pretty much all of this. He's like right behind me right now, making sure that I'm doing everything right. You know, making sure I'm not fucking anything up. So he really helped me a lot. Thank you to everybody that's supporting this and everything. Hopefully, this is helpful and at least a few people are able to get this up and running. Uh, it's awesome. Gotta love Dreano. He's made a lot of great stuff. And, uh, you know, it's uh, you have to jump through quite a few hoops to get this. But, you know what? Hopefully, it's worth in the end for some people here. I'm super stoked to have it. And I hope you guys are as well. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.